Well, students, today we are gonna be glazing your dragons. The first thing I would like to show you is which colors we have. They all will change. So this glaze will change it from this to this clear shiny glaze. So this pink is really clear. This one right here is a new glaze. This one's not as shiny. It's a turquoise, it's a blue green, but it has a little bit of, it's not quite as shiny. It's more of a matte glaze. And then there's this one. This one is really blue. So you can see this one is more of a blue glaze. And then this one that looks gray is really green. So I'm gonna glaze mine with this new glaze that we haven't that I haven't used before and I'm going to hold my brush like a pencil I'm going to hold this like this and I'm going to dip my brush in and I'm going to first kind of stamp it along this edge because we don't want to get glaze on the bottom so I'm going to stamp it around the edge working my way all the way around my dragon so the two things you need to be thinking are not get any glaze on the bottom and to glaze it with three coats of glaze. So here I'm gonna work my way around. Once I get back to where I started, then I'm gonna glaze here. Now if you can't get into a spot, kind of drip it in there. So like it's not going into my textures and designs. So just take a little bit of extra glaze and just drip it into those designs. Work your way around turning it so you can look at it from all three dimensions. Get under the nest, do the legs. So I'm doing this pretty fast because I wanna make sure that you guys have enough work time. So please don't get sloppy with it. I'm being careful not to get it all over my hands and I'm making sure that if my brush won't reach that I just drip it in there. Now, as it's trying to dry, I don't wanna keep brushing it while it's trying to dry because that will end up just brushing the glaze right off of the dragon. So, and then it won't stick to those spots anymore. So here, now that I have these spots done, I'm gonna glaze the body of the dragon. One of the main spots people forget is right under the head. So please turn it, look at it from different ways, make sure you get right under the head there. Once I get under the head, we'll glaze the face. And there should not be any orange spots that are still showing. So I'm still working on coat number one. I'm gonna have to take it and turn it so I can get this side and drip it into those scaly textures. The only time that I would set it down to glaze is really just doing this last spot where my finger is. So this is good that I turned it because I can see I've missed under the horn. I missed that scale. I missed these spots. I gotta drip that in a little bit more there. So good thing I turned it so I can look at it from a different direction. So the only time I'm gonna set it down is when I need to do this spot where my finger is so I don't get glaze all over my hand. I'm gonna to check to make sure this spot is clean. Don't wanna set it in a spot that has glaze on it. And then I would glaze these last spots. Doing a good job glazing is being patient to let it dry. So I have to let this coat dry before I put on my next coat. So we let it dry, that's one good coat. I'm gonna move over to, and also if you ever need to set your brush down, just wipe it off and put it on the table. Please don't lean it on the cup because it could spill the cup. So this one already has three coats of glaze on it. You can see that it doesn't have any orange spots. And if there is a little bit of glaze on the bottom at the end, use the wet part of the towel to just wipe it off, make sure that it's clean. It should look like this. And then you'd give the towel to someone else to use. So let's have fun working on these. Make sure that you don't get glaze on the bottom and that you put three coats of glaze on and you let it dry in between coats.